I'm in the uh, practice of Christian spiritual healing, but there was a time when I wasn't getting a healing myself. Um, the, the picture was that I was seized up in my body. Every joint was stiff, every muscle ached, every bone feel, felt bad. I couldn't move. And so I had hauled a wingback chair a couple of steps away from the nearest bathroom, had an end table there with my spiritual study resources, my, my water bottle, and a phone. Uh, other people were calling me, asking me for prayer, and they were getting healings, but for two weeks I wasn't getting a healing, and I was asking someone to support me in prayer as well. One night, I'm lying in bed about two weeks into this, and the pain is so severe, I, I believe I was actually gritting my teeth to prevent myself from, from screaming because my wife was beautifully snoring gently just a foot away from me in bed. I, I reached out, as you might in prayer when you're feeling that bad, and I, I reached out to the divine and probably my prayer was something like, throw me a bone. I, give me an idea to chew on here, something that, to meet my need. And almost instantly, it was as if I heard a voice in the room. The voice said this, you are not conscious of this. You are not conscious of this. Now that is a message that I could not have thought of myself because I appear to be very acutely conscious of this. Well, I began to reason with it because I'd asked for a message and I'd gotten one. And I began to hear that, wait a second, Christian science takes the position that the Bible takes that God is the infinite understanding, the only true mind, and that the universe is the expression of his conscious being so that I began to hear afresh and new, more deeply than I had before, that I could not know what the divine mind, God, divinities, the Holy Spirit, itself wasn't knowing. I could not be what divinity wasn't being. And I began to hear that divine mind, God, could not know me as a mind apart from itself mistaking fiction for fact, mistaking myself to be separate from God, mistaking myself to be hostage to matter, material, law, sensation, that was saying I was in pain. God couldn't know pain. God couldn't know me as a mind believing in pain. And so if divinity couldn't know me as that, couldn't know my situation as that, couldn't know matter or material law as able to, as actually existing or producing pain, then I began to hear that I didn't know it either. I was not truthfully conscious of this because I could only, as the reflection of God, as the expression of God's own consciousness, receive what God himself knew. And I could not know what God could not know. And the Bible declares that God is of purer eyes and of purer consciousness, essentially, uh, than to know evil. He can't know it. So I realized in a fresh way, in a deeper way, that I actually could not know what divinity did not know. At that time, surges of pain tried to assert themselves more, more toughly than they had before. Um, and I heard myself mentally, fiercely arguing them down. I am not conscious of you. I have never been conscious of you. I cannot know what God doesn't know. I can only know what he knows, what he entertains within his consciousness. You are unknown to God. You have nothing to do with the infinite, omnipresent, divine being that my God is, that all real existence exists within. You are unknown. I have never known you. You have no identity to occupy. You have never had force. You have never had power. You have never come into real being. Nothing has ever known you. So I argued this way pretty fiercely for oh, maybe five, maybe ten minutes and fell asleep. And at the end 
of that experience in the morning when I woke, there was no problem. It was as if I had never had the problem. There was no recovery, no recuperation. It was just perfectly well. And the substance of the event, when I reflect on it, is that this, like most of our healings, point us to the truth about God's own being and our relationship to God. And this experience helped to tell me I can never truthfully know what God doesn't know. Now, I may be tempted to believe I can, but that would never be the truth about my God-given spiritual identity. What God knows is expressed throughout his spiritual universe, and that, as the Bible says, is the truth. And Jesus said that truth, what God knows, sets you free, and I really did experience that, and I'm so grateful to my God.